Welcome to episode two of A Musical Journey. As I said to you at the end of the last episode, this episode will feature uh, quite a bit of Elvis Presley this week. Um, is, it will chart his dominance of the, of the charts in the early 60s. Um, also, we will see uh, in this episode uh, a lot of transition in how the music changed in the early part of the 60s, uh, from the late 50s. So I hope you enjoy the show and we'll push on with our first song. Our first song today is a song by the King himself. Um, it was released in July 1960. Um, it's also the B-side of a song that we're going to hear right at the end of the show today. Um, this song was also recorded by a band called Status Quo in 1983. And it's been covered by the likes of uh, Tom Jones and Jules Holland. Uh, this song is by Elvis Presley and it is called A Mess of the Blues. <laughs> I just got to let it, baby Too bad you can't come home I swear I'm going crazy Sitting here all alone Since you've gone home I got a mess of the blues I ain't slept a wink since Sunday Get myself together before I lose my mind. I'm gonna catch the last train going and leave my blues behind. Since she gone on, I got a mess of the blues. Oops, there goes a teardrop rolling down. If you cry when you're in love, sure ain't no disgrace. I gotta get myself again before I lose my mind. I'm gonna catch the next train going. Two song today is a song that was released in April 1960. It peaked at number 12 in the Billboard charts in that year. Um, it's only to resurface back in 1985, I think it was uh, number two in the UK charts, thanks to Levi's 501's uh, advertising campaign. Um, it's been covered by the likes of Herman's Hermits, Michael Bublé, and is also featured in the movie Animal House. This is song number two this week, and this is Wonderful World by Sam Cooke. Don't know much about history, don't know much biology, don't know much about a science book, don't know much about the French I took. Don't know much about geography Don't know much 
songs we discussed in the last episode um, it was this was a number one in 1960 and also hit number one in the UK in 1990 for a, a band called uh, Bomb Ballerina which featured the wacky uh, Timmy Mallet on vocals um, it was uh, featured in a movie by uh, Billy Wilder called one two three and it's uh, from the album A Beautiful Mood. Oh, fuck. Song number three is one of them novelty records we spoke about in the last episode. Uh, this one was a number one in the US in 1960. It also hit number one in the UK in 1990 for a group called Bomb Ballerina, which featured the wacky Timmy Mallet. Um, it featured in the 1961 Billy Wilder film One Two Three. This song was number one in seven different countries, uh, including South Africa, and it came from the album A Beautiful Mood. This song is a song from Brian Highland, and this song is called Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polk Bada Bicky. She was afraid to come out of the locker And she was nervous as she could be She was afraid to come out of the locker She was afraid that somebody would see Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini That she wore for the first time today Oh it's a bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini So in the locker she wanted to stay Two, three, four, stick around, we'll tell you more She was afraid to come out in the open so a blanket around her she wore She was afraid to come out in the open And so she bundled up up on the shore Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore It was a itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini That she wore for the first time today A itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini so Wanted to stay. Two, three, four, stick around, we'll tell you more. Now she's afraid to come out of the water. And I wonder what she's gonna do. Now she's afraid to come out of the water. And the poor little girl's turned to blue. Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore. It was a it's a teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time. 
first time today Oh, it's a bitsy teeny weeny Yellow polka dot bikini So in the water she wanted to stay From the locker to the blanket From the blanket to the shore Song number four on our show today uh, reached number one in September 1960 in the US. It was also a hit uh, for Hank Ballard in 1959. Um, it featured in Spider-Man 2. Uh, it also held a record for being number one twice. Uh, he held, it, held that record for 59 years. And it also uh, reached number two in the UK charts uh, for a group called the Fat Boys. Uh, this song, very famous song by a man called Chubby Checker, is called The Twist. Song 5 today um, was recorded at the famous Abbey Road Studios in London. Uh, it was number one in the UK in 1960. Uh, the guy's real name was Frederick, Frederick Albert Heat, was the real name of this guy. Um, the Guess Who had a hit with it, in num uh, number one with it in Canada. Um, the song is called Shaking All Over and it's by Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Shakes in the 
chicken all over. song was a, a number one hit in the UK in 1960. It was also a number seven hit in the US for a guy called Ray Peterson in uh, 1960 as well. Uh, that hit number seven. Um, this song was originally banned by the BBC uh, because it was said it was in bad taste. Um, it also was adapted into a musical in 2007. Um, Peterson also re-released re his version again in 1962. Uh, this song is called Tell Laura I Love Her by Ricky Valance. Laura and Tommy were lovers He wanted to give her everything Flowers, presents and most of all a wedding ring So I signed for a stock car race Thousand dollar prize in red He couldn't get Laura on the phone So to her mother Tommy said Tell Laura I love her Ground. It was the youngest driver there. The crowd roared as they started the race. Now the track they go at a deadly pace. No one knows what happened that day. How his car overturned in flames. But as they pulled him from the blistered wreck with his dying breath, they heard him say. Tell Laura I love her Tell Laura I need her Tell Laura not to cry My love for her will never die Now in the chapel where Laura prays For the Tommy who passed away It's just a song is uh, the second song from this artist in, in today's show. Um, it reached number two in 1960 in the US and reached number nine in the UK. It was the artist's uh, first top ten hit in the UK. Um, it was inspired by seeing a Chain Gang on the road when he was on tour and this inspired him to write the song. Uh, this song is called Chain Gang and it's by Sam Cooke. <laughs> Yeah. All day long they're saying, oh. 
in the US and it hit number one in the UK in 1960 in October of that year. Um, this is a song that uh, the artist actually tried to sell to Elvis Presley and the Everly Brothers but they both turned it down. Um, Elvis subsequently went out and bought a box of, the, of the, this record when it was released and gave it to all his friends. Um, the song is actually subtitled Know The Way I Feel. This song is Only The Lonely by Roy Orr. Dum 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 Shannon and it also hit number four in August 1961. Uh, it spent four weeks at number one in the UK. Um, it was a double A side with Little Sister and also it, it, 
It's been recorded by some really eclectic bands like such as the Smiths and the Scorpions. This is Elvis Presley and this is his latest flame. song of this week's episode is uh, one of the best selling singles of all time. It sold 20 million copies. It was five weeks at number one in the US in 1960 and eight weeks in the, at the top of the charts in the UK. Uh, funny little anecdote about the song. It inspired the soul singer Barry White to take up singing when he left prison. Um, so this is our final song this week, hope you've enjoyed the show, it's Now or Never by Elvis Presley. Six 
beside me Let your arms invite me For who knows when we'll meet again This way It's now or never That's our app. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, the show. Um, I won't give you any details about the next episode. Uh, you just got to tune in to find out what's going on. Uh, listen, uh, if you like it, subscribe. Um, feel free to put comments at the bottom of the page if you have any information or any uh, weird and wonderful stories about the artist or even the songs. Uh, listen, thanks a lot for watching again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.